All right, so if you go to Canvas, we'll take a quick look at the module for this week. There's not a lot that's listed here. We have the usual welcome and the wrap up, some resources, and then the final project. So looking at each of these, uh, this is our final week. What you're going to do is put into practice things that we've done on previous weeks. So there'll be a lot that's familiar that we've done previously. Now you're going to apply it again in a slightly different way. The final day of class is not going to be that, like you have one test that you have to complete. You have from today until Wednesday, 1 p.m., to complete this final project. So that means if you need it, the lab times could be very helpful. So what you're going to do is develop a web design proposal binder. And that is going to be a physical thing, which I'll get to the details in a moment. So it's going to be a physical sort of thing that you turn in on the final day along with a home page for a website. I'll get to the details of that, of course, and then the, a blog post. So three big ideas are going to be the final project. A printed out binder of something, a home page of a website, and a blog post. The details we will see in a moment here. You have to turn it in in person. School rules are that if you miss the final day of class, even if you have an A+, you fail the class. You have to be in person on the last day of class. That's why I've been mentioning it for several times. Um, so that is Wednesday the 11th, um, final day of class. OK, if we go over to the resources, this is just something you've already seen before. The company profile and the marketing strategy. You've had assignments about these before. You're going to use these documents again for the final. I give you nice, clean versions again in case you need it. And I also mentioned something about comic books. So I have a whole bunch of comic books right here, which I will get to what that means in a moment. This is more for the people that weren't here today, that they check in on Canvas and, hey, what did I miss today? You always miss something, so why do, we, why do you even ask? You know, what did I miss? You missed everything. So um, check Canvas. That's mostly for the people that were not here today. If you're here in person, this in-person stuff here will, will help you out. I'll get to that in a moment. The final project is worth, first of all, everyone wants to know the points, 25 points. So it's worth a little bit more than a regular assignment, but not so much that if you completely fail it, you'll fail the whole class. You know, I don't design finals like that. Uh, this is just more points that all the points matter, but it's not a huge amount of points. The final project is that you're hired. For the final, final project, you'll take me on as a web design client. So I have hired all of you. Actually, you volunteered because I'm not paying you. Um, you've all volunteered to make me some website stuff. So we're going to do a lecture in a moment where you need to take notes because the um, I'm giving you the marketing strategy and company profile that you're going to fill out for your client. Who's your client? I'm your client. So this is going to be sort of a question and answer interview in a moment where uh, we're going to fill that out um, together for the, the binder. That's going to be the, uh, the, that's going to be, what do I call it, the binder something, the web proposal binder. So the thing that you're going to turn in in person is related to the marketing strategy and company profile. That's going to come from interviewing your client. That's going to come today a little later. So your, my answers are going to help you fill that stuff out. You're going to create a home page of a website. Now the thing about that is you've already been working on a website. You should already have your whatever .com, .biz, whatever. That's your main home page. On most of your service providers, you should have a way to also create another website on it. So a little segue right here. I have, for example, vmcompost.com, which is one website here, and you know it's got its stuff. OK, great. But on my service provider, I installed another copy of WordPress on a subfolder. In a separate folder on my service provider, I have a whole complete website. So you don't have to go buy another .com or .net or whatever. On most of your service providers, you will be able to install more than one WordPress. And all it has to be is on a separate folder. 
So like on the main root folder, I've got the vmcompost.com. And then below that in a subfolder, I've got another WordPress site. That's what I'm asking for. I'm not asking you to redo your home page. It's your home page. You want to keep it as is. I'm asking you to, on a subfolder on your .com, .biz, .xyz, whatever you bought, to create another site. That's going to be a live site on the internet so that you can do the second part of the um, final project. And then also, lastly, you're going to write a blog post to show the client that, yes, I can do a good job with your website. Uh, because it's one thing making a website for yourself, but a lot of you are taking these classes to get hired as a web designer or go as a web design into a web design studio or make a website for someone else, maybe family member, family business. So you're going to create content as per the client's specifications. Okay, so big idea number one, you're going to download both of those files. You're going to fill them in. You're going to fill them in after I, uh, after you interview me as a client. We'll get to that in a moment. And a couple of things that I'll tell you right away here is the company name and the company tagline are yours for you to make up. Um, after I talk to you about my business, my fictional business, what's the name of the company, you get to make up the name of this company that I'm telling you about. We're about to launch our company. We're going to talk to you, an amazing web designer. I want you to figure out the name of my company. And then there's going to be about the tagline. You're going to figure out. You're going to make up a tagline as well um, for this business that I'm going to tell you about. So you're going to fill out the company profile, the marketing strategy. You're going to make a uh, company name and tagline. Fill everything out print it out and turn it in in a binder. You're not going to be graded on the quality of your binder. This one's obviously an F, and this one is an A+, plus, and this is a C-. minus. Uh, you're not going to be graded on the, on the style of your binder. You're going to be graded on the content of your binder. Number one, did you print it out? And then did you fill it all out and such? So. You will need to get a binder. Any kind is fine. It's probably 99 cents. It's what, $3? I don't know. And uh, you're going to need to print it out and turn it in in person on the final day. This is the, the binder, the web proposal binder. It's made up of both the profile and the marketing strategy. We sell them here at the bookstore. We sell them, or they sell them across the street at the 99 cent store. OK, the second part of things. Well before that. Does that make sense for the first part? You're going to fill in the company profile and the strategy, print it out, turn it in in person on the final day. Does that part make sense? How you're going to fill it out, we're still going to get to that on part two of the lecture. So any questions on number one here? Number two, you're going to make me a website. Just the home page. You don't have to do the whole contact page and all of that if you if you don't want just I need to see some sort of home page design I need to see that you can put together a brand new WordPress site with some sort of design uh, not the basic uh, you know uh, 2019 theme that's a little too basic and boring you want to change it so you're gonna need to create a brand new WordPress site uh, add some text and graphics based on what we're going to talk about, how you're going to interview me, what my business is, um, images, text. On the final day, you, you do need to present it on the final day. We've only had to do it once on the whole semester, but on the final day, you'll come up to my podium over here. You'll tell us a little bit about the website. We'll all clap and cheer for you, and that's it. You just have to you know, tell us about your, your website that you built for the client. Um, that's part two. Pretty open-ended, but the main idea is you're going to create a website, at least the home page, for the client. Questions on part two of that. Part three. Well, you're also going to create a little bit more content than just the home page. You are going to create one blog post. My business as I'm going to do the part two of the lecture in a moment, is about comic books and pop culture and stuff. So what I'd like for you as a client is for you to write a blog post where you review a comic book. And look at this. I've got a whole table full of comic books that you can borrow um, for that particular assignment. If you have your own comics, 
or you want to go to the comic shop and get your own, I guess you can do that, but I got a whole bunch right here. So you're going to select a comic book in person or go get one, I guess from the library. Um, on the website, you're going to write a blog post. Uh, give it a title. Um, tell me what's the number and the name of the comic you selected, who published it, what did you like about it, what didn't you like, would you read the next issue, why not. And a photo of you holding the comic triumphantly. So uh, you're going to select the comic, you're going to review it, you're going to make a blog post on the website. And you're going to put a link in Canvas to that review of that comic. So part one, you're going to do the binder. Part two, you're going to make a website. And part three, you're going to make a blog post. And these are the details. All the grading is there uh, again. And it's due on Wednesday at the beginning of class. Not that we're going to have one more final day for you to work on Wednesday. It's the final day to turn it in. Today, you'll have time to work. And if you come in on Tuesday tomorrow, um, lab time, that's time to work. If you come in on Friday, that's time to work. But that's what's the final project. All broken down. Did you do this? Did you not do that? Did you sort of do that? 25 points in total. That's the final project. Make sense? Any questions? Yeah. Um, hmm, a web comic, I guess. All comics are comics, I guess you could, sure. Um, these right here, you know, they're like 36 pages long, so they're a longer story. Oftentimes a web comic is like four panels. Uh, you might want to go with a longer story than just one quick, short, uh, you know, four panel thing. I would recommend one of our books, because I've got a bunch of them here. Say that again? If, uh, we have our own comics that we own. Yes, you can use your own comics. Yes. Um, so, yeah, if you have your own, mm -hmm. I've got a bunch here. People don't have them. Yeah. Um, for the The easiest thing will be to do it on your own website that you already made. Yes, because, for example, up here, like, I have vmcombos.com. It's a whole complete site. On, I have GoDaddy as my example. I log into GoDaddy and I can install another copy of WordPress. And that other copy of WordPress exists on a, just another folder. So you see the address then is vmcompost.com slash blog. I have another folder just called blog. So that's what I would like. That on a real website, so that I can actually access it on the browser, you have a second copy of WordPress where it's the focus of creating a website for, for me, the client. Any other questions? Yes. So, for the binder, just point out the profile of the marketing strategy. Yes, the the profile and marketing strategy. Those are the two things we are going to print out and put into a nice binder and turn it in person. The let's see, did I write that? Um, might as well turn it in online just in case I lose it. I probably won't, but might as well turn it in online as well. But the main purpose or the main point, because that's where I'm doing the grades down here is to turn it in in person. I have a grade point over here, turned in in person. Both documents were printed and submitted, presented in person. Any other questions? OK, so this is the preamble to tell you here's the final project. The final project, of course, you need to fill out all of this stuff here. You don't know any of this yet. So I'm going to do part two of the lecture where I'm going to pretend you just hired me. I'm going to talk about my business, and then this will help you fill it out. So any questions before I go to that part?